Hi, I'm John Lieber, and this is U.S. Politics in a little over 60 seconds. First question, what's going on with the coronavirus relief bill? Will Trump really not sign it? It's possible. This week, he did veto the National Defense Authorization Act, suggesting that he's willing to break some China on his way out the door. And Trump has demanded now that Congress do much more generous stimulus checks to individual American households. That probably can't pass either the House or the Senate because Republicans don't support it. But now Trump is aligned with the Democrats uh, and he's threatened to take down this massive spending bill in order to get what he wants. A little bit of drama around Christmas time. We'll see what happens. Second question, what else is in the bill beside cash payments to Americans? Well, the bill is really a continuation of what was done inside the CARES Act. And the CARES Act included money for small businesses, uh, forgivable loans that was a lifeline to millions of small businesses in the spring. And it includes $300 cash payments to Americans who are unemployed, plus an extension of federally funded unemployment benefits that will last until about April. Uh, there's money for testing and tracing, there's money for vaccine distribution, and there's money to get schools back open. Plus there's specific, specific targeted money for theater venues and airlines and other industries that are suffering because of the pandemic. All told, it's about $900 billion with money going to everywhere to get designed to get us through the winter. Third question, any controversial Trump Christmas pardons? Yes, there were a few. Trump pardoned uh, four Blackwater contractors who were convicted of murdering uh, Iraqi citizens during the American occupation there. He's also pardoned two members of Congress who were convicted for crimes that had nothing to do with Trump uh, or the campaign or their official duties. And he had pardoned a former aide who was involved in the uh, Russia investigation. So these aren't the last we're gonna see. I think that you're gonna see some uh, targeted pardons going out to Trump allies, and also potentially broader pardons going out to advance Trump's post-political, uh, excuse me, post-presidency political career. Thanks for watching. This has been US Politics in a little over 60 seconds.